All right, you guys, it seems to be the day they're going to pick up the cake for Yuna's dad. He still hasn't ate anything yet. Hopefully we can get him to eat some cake and feel better about himself because everybody makes mistakes. Now, in his line of profession, of course, making a mistake can be pretty fatal, but everyone's still human, right? Okay, so we're ready to make the cake. Yeah, I definitely feel like it will be more special having his daughter, like, have a hand in it. Dope, I didn't know we were doing that. That's awesome. Yeah, as per Yuna Chan's request, she wanted to surprise her dad. We asked her to come in the morning before the cafe starts to get busy. She should be here any minute now. The words hardly leave my lips before the door to the cafe opens. Ohio. You made it. Well, good, because we're ready to make the cake. Cake sounds so good right now. It's like, why do they have to do this? I haven't even seen a picture of it yet. Hygiene is important, yes. Suzune leads the way to the kitchen, you and Achan behind her. Yeah, we should probably get working. You know, it's kind of our job. Yeah, of course. So, I mean, we've done it pretty much by ourselves before. I mean, it doesn't even look like anyone's in here, so. Well, we'll be busy enough out here. We won't have enough people taking orders, making drinks, and manning the cake counter. Okay. Sounds good. There we go, that's why I call teamwork. Welcome to Cafe Stella. Let's see how this cake turns out. Say so if it was my daughter, there'd be cake all over the floor. Dang, I need to teach my daughter to learn how to cook. That'd be great. Seems like everything's going well. Even with a child helping her, I doubt Suzune will be will compromise the quality of her cake. I have no doubt you and Achan's dad will love it once he takes a bite. If he takes a bite, that is. I know, right? Well, no use thinking about it that now. Just gotta wait and see. Alright, we're on it. Thanks. Alrighty. I mean, I'll take something if you're offering. I know you're offering to, to her, but you can make me something, too. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Gosh, kids just want the same things. It's like, they just want, like, chicken nuggets. Like, if you just feed them chicken nuggets, they'll be happy for life. Yeah, mine? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> I'll have it ready for you in a bit, you and Achan. Thanks. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, now that they're not making the cake, I mean, we have plenty of free time. You're welcome, go ahead and dig in. Glad you didn't like it, enjoy your meal. Ah, uh, to be so innocent. Ooh, it's nighttime, okay. So we're gonna have the party now. Well, I'm glad he worried about where she was. The mother obviously doesn't. いらっしゃいませ。すみません。今日はこちらで待ち合わせをしているのですが、お話は伺っております。少々お待ちください。She's just like, shut up and watch, okay? <laughs> Stop asking so many questions. Alright, you and Anchan, are you ready? If she drops it, I will strangle this child. No, I won't do that. <laughs> but I'd be very disappointed after all the hard work we've done. I like how she's singing all English and they translated it, Daddy to Papa. Okay. Okay. If he doesn't eat the cake after this, he's a monster. We literally had your daughter help us make this cake. We did it all just for you. We have a special reservation for you at night after work. We're all freaking tired. You better eat some cake. Enjoy yourself. Oh boy. You better not tell her you're not going to do it. You know, Yuna, we've been feeding you for free and helping you make this cake that we don't have on our menu. Can't do this forever. There is no next time. <laughs> I want to make a really bad joke. I'm like, oh, really shouldn't do that. Yeah, I don't know if I, how I'd feel if my daughter told me she wants to, like, play visual novels. Okay, well, it's more than just being cool. You have to know quite a bit to be a doctor. Ooh, let's see his new tie. Which one do you guys go with? Hopefully it's not the one with pink and hearts. これからも足が頑張ってください。あ、ありがとう。本当にありがとう。ゆいな。そうか。ゆいなは医者になりたいのか。なるよ。そうだな。頑張らないとな。ゆいなの目標になるような医者にならないと。yeah, you better. This man's about to cry. 
時はもういいのあすっかり良くなったユイナのおかげで治ったユイナはきっとすごい医者になれるいやもしかしたらパパよりもすごい医者かもしれないな<笑> well, there we go. 食べさせてもらうないただきます That's where it's at. どうおいしいに決まってるだろユイナが作ってくれたケーキなんだからよかったどんどん食べてねおいしい本当においしいよ I'm gonna have to get my daughter to start making me some cake, even though she's like literally one year old. You know, I'll just, I'll just put the bowl on the ground and be like, I'll throw it all in there. And be like, okay, you mix it. She'd probably just put her hand straight in. Yeah. <laughs> You know, this is some above and beyond service, I'll tell you that. Alright, well, there we go. Maybe he'll actually eat it this time. You know, you'd think if he's a doctor, he would probably not eat cake with every meal. But, I don't know. ケーキを残したりしてすみませんでしたぜひ全種類味わってくださいどれも美味しいですからそうですねまた寄らせてもらいますコーヒーも美味しいですし食べたいケーキもたくさんありますからお待ちしております今日はありがとうございました娘のわがままに付き合ってもらって You know what I'm trying to figure out though? おかげでユイナだけじゃなく、主人も私も元気を取り戻しました。力になれてよかったです。何かあれば、またいつでもご相談ください。はい、ありがとうございます。よかったね、ユイナちゃん。お母さんが元気を出してくれて。はい、また来てね。Apparently, our omelet rice was really good. I mean, we did practice quite a bit to make it like that. But, you know, I'm glad everything ended well. It's a nice looking family. Bye bye! Bye bye! We wave and watch the three of them depart. I'm sure you and Ochan's dad should be fine now. Yeah, it's freaking late. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Whew. We're already in her route right now. We're in best girl's route. Gosh, they really like using this CG, huh? Yeah, you and Achan's love reached her dad's heart, and he decided to continue working as a doctor. What are you talking about? Dang, this, Kana, this is why you're best girl. You're my hype man. I love it. Freaking acknowledging our skills, okay? <laughs> Trying to act all cool. What do you mean? I was cool. Yuina-chan's This is good though. We're we're getting in with the ladies. The ladies see that we're good with kids. Okay. And we make good food. Like we're turning into such a desirable man. It's like okay. Deo-nuku-koto-naku-chan-to-tsukuri-tsuzuke-te-iru-takamine-san-no-kimochi-mo-todoku-hito-ni-wa-todoi-te-iru-n-desu. What makes you so sure about that? I could have been cutting corners this whole time. そうやって謎の意地を張る時点で語るに落ちてると思うんですけどね。オーダーを運んでいるのは私です。ちゃんと作っているのは匂いでわかりますよ。とっても美味しそうな匂い。運んでる最中に匂いを嗅ぐだけ
Oh, okay. I was like, uh... I have no clue what you're talking about, question mark. Yeah, it's kind of hard when you're, like, saying such weird things like that. It's very off-putting. Fine, I'll admit, I was really happy when you and Achan asked me to cook for her. And obviously, I never cut corners at work, either. Hard to tell if she's complimenting me or making fun of me. Another long day at work. Thanks, Akazuki-san. For always being so kind and encouraging. So I'll see you tomorrow, then. Hi. I really do like those uh, conversations we kind of have. Kind of breaks up things, you know? Can you taste test this for me? Uh, no. I didn't do any of that, actually. Thank you. Ooh. Are we learning to make cakes? Honestly, though, it's kind of a pain in the butt to measure out the exact amount every single time. Well, okay, then. I know, I know, I won't. Gosh, that's why I hate baking. It has to be so precise. Can't do that. I'm just like, oh, this looks good. <laughs> The only reason I haven't made any major mishaps in the kitchen so far is because Suzune-san has always checks on me o over my work. I'd have to be pretty ballsy to ignore her instructions, especially since it's my butt on the line if I mess up. I'm not skilled enough to do that anyways. Bet you are, though. You could probably measure everything by eye and it'd still turn out delicious. ちゃんと美味しさを維持することそしてさらに向上させることがなからいくら面倒な工程でも無視をしちゃダメなのさいやあ、ちゅうおけいおけいみんなはよくしゃいサプライズングプロフェッショナルサムタイムズ doesn't mean she's lazy at work just because she's a lazy person outside of it. Well, that's all your brother says is how lazy you are. <laughs> like, pretty much every time he talks about her outside of work. So it's like, oh yeah, she's pretty lazy at home. Try to get her to do one thing. Well, here Ted told me a lot of stories. Like how you take off your clothes and leave them off. Okay, it's kind of weird. Or how you never cook at home. Or how your fridge is always full of beer. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think that's fair. Like, okay, you're at home, do what you want. Alright, yes, mom. I mean, ma'am. That was a close one, guys. Once my morning shift is complete, I head to school. Chiki, Sana, and I have the same class today, and she's already seated in the classroom by the time I arrive. Ohio. Ohio. We greet each other as I take my seat beside her. I do so very, very naturally, like it's the most normal thing in the world. The ability of humans to adapt never ceases to amaze. I never have imagined that I'd be able to sit next to a girl with such confidence. The other students in the class were baffled at first, but now hardly anyone bats an eye. Partly because they've gotten used to the sight of us together, but also because they found out we're co-workers. Apparently, the cafe's been garnering quite a reputation among the girls at university. Oh, you know. Almost got my butt beat. But, you know, same as usual. <laughs> he actually said that. 
Sometimes I start talking before the next sentence appears, and I find it really funny when I say the exact same thing they do. It's great. <laughs> By the way, I've been meaning to ask, what kind of customers do we usually get at the cafe? I'm stuck in the kitchen most of the day, so I don't ever see. I'm guessing most people come for our cakes. Oh my gosh. So we have some wild people coming to our cafe. Who walks a couple of hours to get cake? <laughs> Let's make it at home. Well, that's good. Who's coming to see that guy? The heck? Not walking around serving drinks in his cat form, is he? Oh boy, we got the housewives coming out for uh, Mr. Excellency. Okay. Well, I hate to tell you, he's a little bit of a cat. I can't believe a darn cat has more luck with ladies than me. That's just sad. <laughs> oh, Natsumi, you never fail to misread a, a conversation. <laughs> uh, stop making me seem like some sort of sexual deviant. I like normal girls my age, okay? And stop with the cosplay thing. I thought we already cleared that up. I mean, I certainly don't mind it, per se. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we meant, Natsumi. Gosh, you're like the media. You mis misread everything. You take things out of context. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not saying I want to be popular with a bunch of housewives, I just find it a little strange that he is. I mean, he's not exactly the hospitable type. Hmm, maybe I should try working in silence too. Alright, Natsumi. I'll give you that one. Sounds depressingly accurate. Even as a kid, people always said I looked unfriendly. <sighs> At this rate, I may never get a girlfriend. Eventually? What do you mean by eventually? What if I uh, already have one and her name is Kana and she's a Grim Reaper waifu? Okay. She has private conversations with me all the time. And, and she took us out on a date. I think we already have one. Well, thank you. I mean, you kind of roasted me, and then now you're saying a little bit nice things, so I'll take it, I guess. And we sit down very, very naturally, according to Kosei. I don't know how you sit down naturally, but okay. It looks like she's just trying to put us in the friend zone right now. Do you think so? Well, good. I'm glad you think that way. Oh, okay, Kosei. I'm taking the initiative here. Okay, I appreciate this. Uh, uh. My heart. Oof, she smiled with such conviction that it honestly hurt. <laughs> Dang, my god, you got shot down. Uh. Freaking chair always deflating on me. It's a nice chair too, and it always does that. Some 
Yeah, doesn't Japan, like, can't you, like, call the waiter to your table if you need anything? Like, in America, I feel like you don't, like, go out of your way to ask the waiter to come over. Like, they just usually will stop by after a certain amount of time. And they'll be like, okay, are you ready to order? And if you're not, then they'll come back in a few minutes. Uh, it's it, it has a very natural flow to it. It would be very weird for me to be like, oh, waiter. You know, like, that would be strange to me, which is interesting that Japan would do that of all places. That's very outgoing when I think of Japan as being very reserved. I don't know. Coming over from Mikado, huh? <laughs> Did somebody call for me? <laughs> this guy. He's over here flirting with them. He knows. He knows. <sighs> this guy. I'll say, aren't pumpkins like in that kind of same family? I don't know. <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding. It's a trio of middle-aged women at least twice my age. I definitely don't want that kind of attention. But then why do I feel this indescribable sense of inferiority? I feel like he's doing way more for the cafe than I am. He charms all the local housewives into coming here. His photos get us tons of followers on Instagram. And he's also the only one who he's also the one who found us all of our suppliers. I mean, that's what happens when you're a talking cat. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff. You don't have to rub it in. How come we're not in the kitchen cooking? Alright, what's not Sumi want to do? Sateto, so 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 I like how we're just uploading photos of a random cat onto our Instagram page, but nobody ever sees them while they're there. Well, they do, but you know what I mean. Hi, Like, okay, let's just post photos of cute things that relate to our cafe, not in the slightest. いいね。大した手間じゃないですよ。いつも通りあざと可愛い写真。誰誰、私にも見せて。ほら、これ。猫って毛を覚えたりはしないんですよね。なのによくこんな写真が撮れますね。I mean, it helps when you can talk to them and they know what you're saying and they can respond back. Gosh, do you imagine how pissed he would be if he overheard this conversation right now? His tendency to be easily swayed by transparent flattery, to be precise. Gosh, she reminds me of my cat when I first got her. Like, she... I think she was like a stray cat or something. I got her from a shelter. And she was like the biggest anxiety cat. Like, she literally would just like try to sleep in the like the most tight spaces i'm like why are you behind the washer machine <laughs> like weirdo eventually stop doing that それは、うーん、地域猫みたいな感じでしょうか私、お店の部屋をまがりしているんですけど、その部屋に元から出入りしてたみたいで。<laughs> uh, I don't think anyone knows he's a cat. 
キッチンやフロアには決して入らないようにちゃんと言っていますから。Oh, yeah, because that makes it better. Gosh, even I feel bad about how they're insulting him right now. m i k i n o would probably be none too pleased if he overheard this conversation right now. That's what I'm saying. You know, just post both. Why not? Oh gosh. Like, is this gonna go in a direction of where, like, she eventually is gonna get her own phone and then she's gonna be obsessed with it? Gadgets and gizmos. That's not something we say nowadays. My grandma used to say that. Well, I don't see how this could go wrong. Oh my gosh, like an old person. まずはアプリを立ち上げてアカウントがちゃんとお店のものかチェックしてタップタップそんな困った顔しないでくださいってばこれですこんな感じであ画面がライブラリーから写真を選ぶんですよ写真はどれがいいと思います Gosh, it feels weird that I lived in a time before smartphones. And now it's like they're just a part of everyday life. And the kids being born nowadays will never know what it's like to not have a smartphone. Dumb phone? What is that? Flip phone? Why is your phone flip? Is there like screens inside? Hmm. <laughs> Feels weird. Like, I'll probably be called a boomer eventually. Like, I feel like I'm in my prime, but I'm already getting so old. Maybe we should enact it to where every kid has to have a Motorola Razor as their first phone. And I'm not talking about the new one that's like pretty fancy. I'm talking about the old one that just like flipped and it had like the really dinky camera and had like the little screen on it. A good phone. Good phone. The three girls are huddled together, peering down at the phone as they try to decide which photo to post on her Instagram. Though Akizuki san usually has this air of maturity about her. Uh. I wouldn't say that, but okay. She comes across like a helpless child when she's thrust into situations like these. Okay, I, I definitely don't do. I'm assuming glide typing is where you're like tracing your finger over it and you're doing like a swipe gesture. I don't do that. I'd find that takes longer. Gosh, she really does look like an old person. She's like, wait, where's my phone? Fell on the floor. She's like this. Oh, yeah. That's my grandchild. And soon she's going to be posting boomer memes. Oh, this is お店の名前も忘れずに。うんうん。で、終わったらシェアをタップ。それで投稿完了です。I feel like this is a mistake. We're putting you down a wrong path. We should have hid all the crap that is social media. ああ、なるほど。これがスマホですか。
I like how the like one single hair like on her head is like moving by itself. I think that's adorable. Oh, now it's sad. That would that be considered in uh Ahego? Is that what it's called? You know what I'm talking about from Danganronpa? You know that denotes a main character. You know, May, I'm glad we have your youthful self around because I, apparently I'm just working with a dinosaur. ここを押すだけでいいんです。腕を伸ばして。あ、もっと顔を近づけて。あ、神田さんの肌すべすべ。すりすりするの気持ちいい。本当だ。すべすべだ。ああ、いいウェイドウス。くすぐったいですってば。
ってくれてありがとう。じゃあ、またね。Well, darn, I thought we were gonna go on a little date. I haven't had any of Nozomi's coffee since the cafe opened. Whenever I feel like drinking some, I've gotten into the habit of brewing my own to practice. Next time, I guess I'll try asking her to make me a cup instead. Still, she's sure working hard. I'd better do the same. Cafe Stella to Shinigami no Chou. This guy. Well, it's still only been a month since we've opened. No, I'd say we're staying pretty busy. For now, anyways. Yeah, I think we need to, to change up our menu a little bit. Yeah, I think maybe like swapping out items monthly would be nice. I'll make note of that. Kazune san mentioned that too. Uh, thanks, Dad. For all the help and for calling to check up on me. I mean, I hope so. That'd be kind of weird if you could, like, suddenly not be my father anymore. Alright, well, I'll call you again sometime, and, um... Take care of yourself. Don't get sick or anything. That's strangely caring of you, Kosei. Talk to you soon. Once I had the call, my gaze drops down to my phone in my hand. How long has it been since he last called me for no reason? I mean, he did have a reason, but still, it feels like the first time in ages that we chatted on the phone. Well, time to go to work. Oh, I feel with my dad. I'm like, when was the last time I talked to this guy? <laughs> I was just thinking about new menu items for the cafe. Trying to think, what does our cafe need? You know what we need? We need some more, maybe like Asian items, okay? Like maybe not like just traditional Japanese, but we could do a lot of Japanese stuff too. I'm thinking we need like some gyoza as like a, a little bit of an entree. Never go wrong with that. Don't you remember what you said to me? We need to keep our customers from getting bored. I'm not saying we need to change the menu constantly, but we're probably going to have to at some point or another, so I figured I might as well start brainstorming now rather than later. I mean, that's why they pay me the big bucks. Yeah, except I'm having trouble thinking of anything. Any veteran advice for me? Think outside the box, you say. We gotta come up with something wild. Well, I guess it depends if you want it to be like something really unique or something that you can't really find anywhere else. Or you can just reimagine things that already exist, right? I guess that's true. Alright. Is that all the orders we have for now? Uh -oh. What's going on here? Uh, I see. This is our next goal. We're going to help her become more confident in her coffee making skills. Sorry, I'm 
One of those customers, huh? She points towards a man in a suit who's sitting at the counter. His elbow rests on the table with his fingers steepled. He looks like some sort of commanding officer waiting patiently for his coffee. That's the kind of guy who makes you uncomfortable? Hmm? Our cafe's key demographic is mainly women, but we do see businessmen like him from time to time. At a glance, he doesn't seem exactly like the type who'd enjoy eating cake, but then again, there's no reason he can't. Not really, no. Oh yeah, I guess I can see that. I mean, probably coffee is his like way of relaxing, and he wants something that really feels satisfying to his soul, right? Unlike the two of us, however, Akazuki-san stands behind the counter looking not the least bit intimidated. Her movements are confident and meticulous. With a graceful flourish, she drizzles hot water into the dripper extracting the coffee. Arigato. The man doesn't drink his coffee right away, instead giving it a good whiff. Only after that does he slowly bring the cup to his lips. Closing his eyes, he takes a few sips. Ah, uh, what is this dude? Some kind of sommelier? Get out of here. akazuki sans standing her ground, though. I'm impressed. After a few seconds, the man opens his eyes. Oh, Okay. Weird example, but sure, I'll take it. What the hell kind of comparison is that? You tell him he gets what he gets, okay? You know, if he doesn't like the coffee, he can leave. Well, I mean, if you said that, then you'd probably be out of business, but... Well, it takes a lot of courage to let someone critique your coffee like that. I sure as hell wouldn't want to be his barista. Yeah, that would be kind of intimidating. But honestly, it's entirely possible the guy's just pretending he's some connoisseur. Well, we know he could be faking it. Well, either way, I think he likes the coffee. As far as I can tell, he's got no complaints. Well, you know, we can have Kana teach you how to make a good, good cup of coffee. Akazuki-san's coffee must be quite something if it can satisfy such a hoity-toity customer. Now I'm curious to see how good it is, too, maybe after work. Another day of work. わかりました。I know it's a bit late to be asking this question, but should we really be leaving a cat in charge of our finances? <laughs> oh, what could go wrong, right? Not that I'm saying I could do a better job. Simple math I can do, but I don't know squat about accounting. We're just a little bit worried about our bookkeeping. I'm not sure how I feel about leaving everything to you. Of course you are. You're an accountant. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I was in the first grade of high school, but I think it was too difficult to manage the time. But I think it was too difficult to manage the time. Okay. It's the same as the same. It's the same as the same as the same as the Oh yeah, don't mess with the IRS. Or whatever Japan's I equivalent is. I like how they have to censor that. You've got spreadsheets too. Uh, well, how's our balance sheet looking? Well, frick. <laughs> uh, 
it's been nice knowing you guys that we're closing down the cafe today. Not like kind of bad. Okay. I mean, I'm sure it does cost a lot to start a business, right? Like, that's something you make back over time, as long as you're, like, continuing to make profit. Okay. And here I thought business was booming. Speaking of mistakes, I've screwed up my share of orders as well. Okay. I'll leave it to you, Mikita. Alright. Gotta give him credit. He's a man of many talents, more than me at least. Alright, Kana. Go help her. She needs she needs help getting more confident about making coffee. That customer at lunch today was raving about your coffee, wasn't he? So I'm a little bit curious how much it's improved since the last time I had it. That was a little bit ago. I mean it's probably been like maybe almost two months. That's good. Impressive. I mean, I'm sure you handle it better than Natsumi. We saw that went. それはもう。でも苦労だけじゃないで、コーヒーの味がわかるようになって。yeah, I feel like that'd be hard to like make coffee if you don't really know what it tastes like or what makes it good. Yeah, that's Okay. <laughs> what is that? What do you mean extra love at the end? That's a little sus. Like that is like a like an ingredient, right? It's just kind of cringy hearing the words "moe moe cute" in real life. <laughs> you know, Kana, I'll forgive you. Don't quit your chain job then. Okay. I mean, there's still got to be a process to that. Like, maybe you... I, I mean, I don't know. I don't drink coffee, so I wouldn't know. Gosh, that's a little too much attention. I wouldn't make a good cup. そうすることで嫌な苦味や酸味を極力出さないように心がけるんです。まあ、コーヒーですから苦いのは苦いんですけどね。I I mean, not necessarily, but sure. Sure, I'll meet you back here once we're done. Dang, getting coffee dates already. I like it. Pretty clean. You can go ahead and get changed first. No problem. Okay, but you know, you can change out of your uniform first. I don't mind waiting a bit. That's true. I mean, she just has to go upstairs. Sure, that's fine. Is it different from the kind we serve at the cafe? Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, yeah, I feel like that would probably be a waste of money, you know, of our funds. I've been using cafe ingredients to cook our staff meals this whole time. Should I stop? Yeah, I feel like most, like, food places give you some kind of a discount or they'll give you free meals. I think that's only fair. Alright. She produces an unfamiliar looking coffee canister. Where do you keep that? Is it right to store them at room temperature? I mean, what temperature do you normally keep them at? I don't see why you couldn't keep coffee beans at room temperature. So, I don't drink coffee though, but I will say the smell of coffee beans so good. It's like soothing to your soul. I could see why people would want to drink it if it tasted like it feels or like it smells, right? Just thinking about like walking down the store, like some of those stores that have like the, the like the self-serve like coffee, so you can just like bag it yourself or whatever. It's like, oh, that aisle always smells so good. Next, she brings out a hand-operated coffee grinder. You're gonna grind it by hand. Okay. <laughs> she seems to be having some trouble opening her canister. This duck want me to try? <laughs> I don't like those sounds she's making with them. She finally pries open the lid, but with a too much force, scattering the canister's contents and raining coffee beans onto our heads. <laughs> no, I died. You literally just killed me. God's wrath just rained down upon me, and I died in that instant. I'm fine. Nobody's going to get hurt from a few coffee beans. <laughs> That's a lot of beans wasted. I mean, just pick them off the floor. Five second rule, right, guys? Or like 15 seconds, you know? Maybe it takes you 20, so it's a 20 second rule now. I mean, you're fine. It's not going to kill you. I'll sweep up the rest of the beans in the meantime. Oh, you'll be fine. No big deal. I'll be done by the time the coffee's ready. Although the beans had scattered in many directions, there weren't honestly all that many. I managed to sweep up every last one in no time. Meanwhile, Akazuki-san's still mill continued to grind away noisily, accompanied by the earthly scent of fresh ground coffee. They're crazy, though, trying to drink coffee at this late at night. They're gonna be up. For a while. She's squirming around a little. Well, whatever. By the way, is there a trick to grinding beans using a coffee mill? Oh, okay, so you're like hand grinding it then. まずはコップを温めておいて残りをドリップポットに入れ替えて温度を少し下げてで基本的にそこまで入れ方は変わっていないんですけどね you said it tastes better, didn't you? なんでしょうね。作業に慣れたおかげでお湯をより細く注ぐことができたりするから。お待たせしました。さあ、どうぞ。Alright, well, thank you. Thanks. There's something a little bit off about her breasts. Okay, why are we looking at those? More specifically, the two rather noticeable bumps protruding from the tips. Um, that is a little weird. <laughs> oh, really now? 
because she's nervous. But wait, if I can see them that clearly, that means she's not wearing a bra. Kosa, you're making this weird. Stop. Mmm, it's delicious. It smells amazing. It's not too bitter either. Right, the beans. It's cute how they bloom and get all swollen. What? <laughs> My guy. Never mind, anyways, it's good. <laughs> oh, for sure, the beans are definitely <laughs> very noticeable. Oh my gosh. My guy, get it yourself together. <laughs> Am I smitten? What the heck? Is she actually trying to seduce me? But if I'm wrong about all this, I'm gonna feel like such an idiot. Yeah, I had no idea what he was talking about at first, so I was like, oh. No, it's nothing about your coffee. Er, I kind of can't. You know, Kosei, this is why people think you're weird and perverted. Very true. I can't let her shut around work with her nipples on full display. It wouldn't be a good look for the cafe. For one thing, the majority of our customers are other women. It could cause a huge scandal if they get the wrong idea and thought okazuki san was trying to make a pass at them. I'm not saying... I have no choice but to say it. I'm not doing this to be a creep. I'm doing it to save our cafe, cafe's reputation. In all honesty... Hi. Coffee beans aside, do you really need to show off your chest beans, too? Hmm. <laughs> that was just, like, the worst way you could bring this up, too. I mean, I don't want to tell you how to live your life, but do you remember, we are in the customer service industry. That, um, and I'm a guy. Honestly, this is a little awkward for me. And why are those <laughs> nipple and answers? <laughs> Oh, that's so weird. Exactly where both of your nipples are? What kind of miracle is that? I mean, she did, like, throw a whole bunch in the air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the thought never even crossed my mind. Oh. Okay. To demonstrate her innocence, she spreads open the top of her uniform as far as it can go. A smattering of coffee beans immediately tumbles out of her clothes. However, a number of them also remain caught in her cleavage. <sighs> you know, Kana, I didn't need to see any of this. まさかあんな乳首っぽいアピールをしてるなんて思ってなかったから。Oh my gosh. Flash me your cleavage like this doesn't. This entire situation has been misleading from the start. I don't know, she's flashing me over here. You know, that's a good idea. No. You're the one being inappropriate. What do you mean? 
これはあくまで乙女の名誉のためですからこんな場所でおっぱい丸出しさせる名誉お乙女の世界って怖い丸出しにはしてません結局のところ何をしてたのコーヒーの味の研究です<笑> oh, okay. 胸の谷まで温めた豆を使って<笑>どんな信長と秀吉コピールワーク的なファイルワーク<笑>ティリルワークりすぎてコロコロなそもそもコピーがコーヒーって意味だったような何の話をしてるんですか You know knows me, I have no idea either by this point アホな男どもなら引っかかるかもって話 I mean, guys would pay for bath water, so why not coffee beans? コピルワークって数千円とかしてた気が。Dang, that's expensive. と8000円とかも高いとは聞いてましたけど、そんなに誰のおっぱいで温めた豆にするか。選択できるなら、指名料だって取れるね。Do we not have this conversation? <笑>とはいえ、私じゃあおっぱいで温めるなんてできないんだけどさ。最後はどうせ。私が貧乳でバカにされるんでしょ<笑>はいはい、わかってるわかってる。<笑>その手のことを何万回言われたか。Like、this is breaking the fourth wall a little bit. <笑>そんなもん注文するやつは全員死ねばいい。だったら言わなきゃいいでしょうに。ひどいセクハラだ歌うぞ<笑> !Thank you to court. You're the one who started this conversation. ちゃんコピールワークって何裏メニュー8000円でどんなプレイをするの You know, May, you're young, okay? You don't need to know. <laughs> いや、普通に表メニューなんだけど、ジャポーネコの糞から取り出したコーヒー豆で入れたコーヒーのことだよ。スカトロケラモノ先輩 That is kind of gross. Hold on, I never said anything of this sort. I'm definitely not into that. 否定はそこだけでいいの This whole conversation was awful. I bet you I managed to clear my name, though it certainly took a bit of time. It wasn't easy, especially with how frightened Hio Shidani san was of me. Do I really come off as that much of a pervert? I'm a little shocked, to be honest. What a day. All I wanted was a cup of coffee, but it blew up into a giant fiasco. Well, I suppose the coffee was still good. Plus, I, get to, I did get to see something nice. <laughs> of course, you would think of that. Cleavage. I never seen something incredible cleavage. It almost felt like I was getting sucked in between them. Kose, this is why we can't have nice things. Snap out of it. I keep having these thoughts and won't be able to look at Akizaki san in the eye tomorrow. Need to think about something else, like the menu. Ah,、uh, yes, a new menu item. Couldn't think about coffee made from breastly warmed beans. Might actually sell pretty well among certain customers. Who knows, maybe her boobs really did impart some flavor into it. No, stop it, Kosei. Stop thinking about boobs. The, other would the others would never talk to me again if I suggested the idea for real.、But、then again, I could be onto something. He's thinking about this way too much. Way too much. Well, we're gonna have to see if that part makes it into the video. I'm gonna have to do some research and make sure that's okay to show on YouTube. I'll say, why do you do this? Why do you, why do you get into such inappropriate situations all the time? I have no idea. But, anyways, guys, I'm going to end it here. I don't know. What did we do in this episode besides、um, very weird stuff, honestly?、Uh, we, we did end up giving Yuena's father the cake, so that was nice.、Uh, and he liked it, and we got that resolved. We didn't really resolve. Uh, Nozomi's problem of trying to make better coffee. We just managed to,、uh, yeah, we did some weird stuff with that. But, you know, not a bad, not a bad、uh, episode, I would say. Not terrible. But, anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one. Hopefully, it's a little less awkward than that one was at times. But, you know, it's, it is what it is. So, I shall see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.